What's up, NFT Plaza's community? It's Jake here. Um, got a first interview of the day, so hopefully um, I'm a little bit more energetic now than I will be later today, but that's okay. Um, here with a new buddy of mine, I'm gonna let him introduce himself, talk a little bit, little bit about his company, and I'm sure I'll have some uh, questions from there. Hi guys, uh, my name is Bruno, Bruno Ver, I'm CEO and co-founder of Niftify. I've been in crypto since 2011, so I'm pretty old in crypto. Um, I'm tr I, I've, been, I've been passionately talking about it for, for 10 years, and um, yeah, I'm really excited to be in the show, so... Um, Definitely. To, to, um, I got it, yeah, but... Tell us a little bit about the company, like what you do, some of your clients. I know, you know, talking to your brother-in-law, you know, you guys have some you know, really cool, interesting clients. Can you uh, talk a little bit about the platform, some clients, and then what those clients are doing um, sure. on the platform? So, uh, as I said, I'm Bruno Ver, Niftify, Niftify.io. We are uh, an NFT marketplace, but above the marketplace, we are basically a white label solution for brands. So if you're a brand like Gucci and you're in Web 2 today, you want to go into Web 3, you want to add a blockchain layer, you want to create NFTs from physical to digital or just digital, then you can basically use our software. So that's what we do. We have a white label SDK solution, uh, API solution uh, that you can use to launch your own NFTs uh, as well for big brands, but also for smaller brands. We, we signed, for example, Marina Raphael, which is a fashion brand. Uh, we signed uh, Wild Wildcat Gaming, a gaming company, and, and we got a bunch of uh, uh, potential clients that we are talking to right now, like Gucci, uh, we're talking to um, a football team called we WSG Tirol uh, for ticketing. Um, yeah, I think what we do basically is we, we, we help creating mass adoption because we enable Web2 companies to go to Web3, and we all know that that's going to be huge in the next three, four, five years. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we are doing at Niftify. Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. Um, what I really like about what you said is you touched upon ticketing. Um, can you please talk about the different used cases that your platform can you know, basically do and what different clients are asking for? Um, you know, when, when someone says thinks of NFT, they just think of art, right? A lot of people don't realize an NFT is really anything. So can you talk a little bit more about the ticketing aspect of it? Yeah, so NFTs are much more than just JPEGs or GIFs. Uh, we all know that, uh, in general, even the, the, the average Joe doesn't give a fuck about <laughs> GIFs or JPEGs, you know. But if you give added value, if you create added value to an NFT, when it comes to ticketing, for example, and most of you know Tomorrowland, um, when you go to Tomorrowland, you buy a ticket, and that ticket is on your name. But anyone could give the ticket to somebody else. And the organizer, in this case, if I buy 10 tickets and I resell them, which is illegal in some countries. Um, if I resell them, the organizer doesn't even make any money. Now, if you use the blockchain technology, it doesn't even need to be NFTs. Of course, NFTs are based on the blockchain technology and the blockchain technology makes it immutable and makes it irreversible and makes it interesting. So if tomorrow and tomorrow would use our platform and they would sell their tickets through our platform or with our software on their own website, when people would start reselling those tickets, then they could, thanks to a smart contract, make some money on every resell. And every year there is people getting sick, especially now we got a pandemic, people getting sick, people uh, don't manage to travel, people miss their flights. So for various reasons, tickets get onto the secondary market. I gave now the example of Tomorrowland, can also give an example of FC Barcelona football team. Um, if I buy a ticket of a certain game, then with that ticket, I could, I could get access to a museum. I could get access to shirts after the game, to special perks after the game. So through the blockchain, and you don't need NFTs for that, you need the blockchain technology, as I just mentioned. Um, through the blockchain, that enables all that, that makes all that possible. And then, of course, secondary market of ticketing um, gives a total different layer of possibilities to event organizers and to... Um, football clubs, uh, volleyball clubs, basketball clubs, you name it. Uh, we have been talking to Barcelona, Wolfsburg, we talked to uh, some German clubs, uh, we talked to the Miami Heat. Uh, there, is, there is a lot of things happening and in the next two, three, four years, I really think that NFTs will step up their game and Web3 in general will, will, will become what the internet was in the 90s. You know, if in the 90s you would ask someone, send me an email, they would tell you, ah, I'm not gonna send you an email that will not exist anymore. Yeah, it will not exist. It will not exist anymore. But like now, 
look now, we're all using a smartphone. We're spending 60, 70, 80% of our time on the smartphone. And in the future, we'll be spending 60, 70, 80% of our times in the metaverse. Yeah. No, definitely. So I think um, the ticketing really, it, it, it solves the, 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 the uh, scalping problem, right? So it essentially, instead of having a bunch of people standing outside trying to sell their tickets, um, it can easily be sold within a secondary marketplace and the team, the event organizer can get that royalty. Um, very, very cool. Um, so yeah, so last question. It's a, it's a difficult one, but hopefully you should be able to answer it. Um, where's the best place to find NFT news on the internet? Oh, that's a very hard question. You know, Twitter, Twitter is definitely good. You know, watch, follow Twitter, follow some of the influencers on Twitter, follow this channel. I think you guys definitely have amazing content. Um, and, and a part of that, um, yeah, if you type in, give me more information on NFTs on Google, you probably get more information on NFTs. So, uh, but I would say this channel, you know, this channel is the way to go. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you Thank so you. much.